like an excuse or reason to stall to not do what you need to do in order to progress yourself. What is poppin' mad attackers? Happy Monday to every single one of you. Your boy has clearly just woken up. We're about to head downstairs and get today started. Huge week ahead. Sending over footage from my iPhone onto my Mac for the new daily vlog. Yo, just wanted to check in. So I spent the last like 40 minutes, well, 37 minutes over there just recording a brand new podcast. This is one of the most deep, intense podcasts that I've ever, ever recorded. I think it's gonna add a fuckload of value to you guys. I'm very, very excited about the way it's turned out. Set my mic over there, camera set up. It's done and now I need to get this bad boy live. And we've got the audio content exporting. And the YouTube video version is uploading. Okay, so the new podcast, the video version is uploading as you would have seen. I'm now headed out. I need to go to the shops and then go to the gym. Got a big ass workout and I've also just heard that I'm shooting tomorrow, but I'll tell you more about that in tomorrow's episode. It was a last minute booking. Very excited about it. <laughs> Yo, this is the part of the episode where I take a question from one of you guys and I answer it. Today's question comes in from Mad Attacker Anna and she says, is it okay to sometimes feel like doing absolutely nothing and just sit down and think? The short answer, of course, is naturally. Of course, that's fine. I would also, however, put in here is I'd urge you to be self-aware and let me explain what I mean. So the short answer is yes, of course, it's fine to do that. I do also urge you though, are you wanting to, sorry, there's a bike in the background. Are you wanting to sit down and think, is that a, like an excuse? or reason to stall to not do what you need to do in order to progress yourself or are you just feeling completely overwhelmed burnt out and that you literally just need to like get into bed and sleep and refresh yourself or inversely go do something fun to get your mind off whatever it is that is bothering you i think it's a fine line that exists between procrastinating and creating an excuse and actually needing to take a break from it and that line can only be drawn by you and the truth is that whoever you are whatever your circumstances whatever the situation is that you are tackling you know in your heart of heart you know deep down if you're doing it as a method for procrastination or if you genuinely need to take the time off. There are occasions where I've been having like a really, really heavy day or I'm giving back a lot to the audience or it's I'm editing, editing, editing and I know that I actually just need to take some time off and I need to just get some sleep or I need to go do something fun or I need to put in time with my family. But that's something that I assess for myself and so I encourage you guys to do the same. You need to assess that for yourself. I think that's the important thing is just deploy self-awareness and then and then you should be good to go. I'm not in a position to tell you, yes, it is fine if you go and relax or no, you need to hustle more. All I would say is that just be self-aware, assess it, um, and be honest with yourself. That's the most important thing because regret is going to be... Well, I've actually thought of another point. I want to say this. Regret is going to be worse than, uh, than just being honest with yourself. And what I mean by that is like... If you choose to take time off and then you wake up the next day and you're like, fuck, I should have actually worked or I should have done something because you weren't honest with yourself, that's gonna feel worse. The other thing that I was gonna say is that sometimes what works really, really well is if, you, if you're if you feeling this sense of anxiety or you're feeling overwhelmed, at least for me, if I'm faced with a situation, I often find that by doing something about it, even if it's the smallest action, whatever it is, that that makes me feel more in control and makes me feel more relaxed and makes me feel better about the situation give you an example if i use diet or fat loss or muscle gain or whatever if i'm feeling like flip i need to cut i need to lose some fat then instead of feeling overwhelmed or even if i am feeling overwhelmed and stressed and i can't go to gym because it's 11 o'clock at night instead of going and finding a bag of potato crisps to eat or getting a box of biscuits to eat i'll be like okay well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna squeeze some lemon into water because lemon and water is good for fat loss i'm making this up right now but i think that is a fact and i'll drink that and i'll be like cool well that was a small step to push me forward towards where i want to be towards my goal and so i think that 
that might also aid you uh, or any of you in this fact of like if you are feeling overwhelmed maybe take a small step that you know you can control that pushes you in the direction of where you want to go and that should provide some some ease and comfort to you guys i hope that i answered it it's a good question and then before we get back to the episode if any of you have any questions at all comment them down below i'm choosing one of these to answer in the daily vlog every single day <laughs> from the gym and it is finally time to take the uh, podcast at least the video version public and you guys know this process hit publish right over there the new podcast is live okay finally having some dinner i got a base of salad a can of mussels mixed vegetables two slices of brown toast two hard boiled eggs so your boy has just dropped that post onto uh, instagram just to basically announce that the podcast has gone live to drive some more traffic to it and it is with that post having gone live that this is where i call it a night it's pretty early it's quarter past 10 but i need to get some sleep because i've got an early ass call time tomorrow for the shoot i will tell you guys more about that in tomorrow's episode so be sure to tune in before we wrap this up i do want to say an enormous thank you to every single one of you for taking the time out of your day to consume this episode it honestly means so damn much to me if you haven't already yet hit the subscribe button down below or if you're watching this on facebook hit the like button on this page i will catch each and every one of you beautiful mad attackers in another 24 hours guys go hustle go great and i'll see you then peace